This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today we're singing out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called iPhotoCap, uh, which is available for free in the App Store. There's absolutely no overhead involved. There are also no advertisements or anything else. This application is absolutely, completely, 100% free um, and ready to roll the minute you download it. So as mentioned, the application is called iPhotoCap, which is uh, because of the fact that it captions photos. So that's actually, uh, you know, a pretty, uh, actually, I guess in another sense to it, it only puts capital letters over your photos too. You can turn that off. Um, but it also involves that. So I guess the cap could come from either one of those. But it's a very simple and uh, quick application designed to allow you to add captions, uh, multiple captions too, to your photos to create either uh, new internet memes or you could possibly just caption your own photos, which is uh, what we imagine most people will be doing with this. So uh, this is the main interface that you'll be using. It's very quick and uh, efficient to use, but all of the magic from the application actually starts with one of these two options. You have either the option to load up a camera, or you can or load up the camera to take a photo, or you can load one out of your photo gallery. Both work extremely well, and we had no problems with either. Um, although we are going to stick with just the photo gallery for this video review. Here's a uh, picture that I already did, um, which you won't actually see anything in this photo of me and my girlfriend. But just to show you how you can add captions to the photo, I have included those. If you want to get rid of the photo that you're currently editing, it's very simple. You simply hit clear, um, and you're good to go. So let's open up another one, and I'll go ahead and show you the full functionality of how this works. Um, so I have this picture of my cat that's been wrapped up in a blanket, so to uh, modify this, I simply go up here to this bar that says enter caption here, and I say cat in a blanket. And then you can either hit the little um, arrow up here to actually add this to the photo, or you can hit done. Then it automatically adds the caption straight onto the photo. You can drag this around as much as you'd like, which is very simple to do. Uh, no learning curve really involved there at all. So drag it into place. Um, and then as far as our only real complaint with the application, we, we're not exactly sure how to add multiple captions. This is something that we poked at for quite a while, and we're just not sure. Um, we looked for help files too, but just uh, we're not entirely sure how this is done. But one way that we did discover that you could do this is simply hit, uh, whoops, not that one, save, and then the photo has been saved. What you can do from here is then go in and add another caption. So I can say cat in a blanket is not amused. If you'll notice, the application is doing all of this in caps, which you can turn off um, for a single letter, but then it goes back to doing caps lock. The reason for this is because the font that's being used, the sort of internet meme um, ready font just works better in caps. We didn't have uh, too many problems with that. It sort of frustrated us at the beginning, then we realized what was going on, and we liked it a little bit better. So once that done, is done, excuse me, simply hit save, and then your photo has been saved. If you want to go back to the photo gallery at any point in time, you can simply hit the button, go back, and then load up an old photo. So of course you've actually got two editions of this photo saved in the photo gallery, but as far as we know that is the only way to actually add another caption. Then again you can go in this way and add uh, basically as many captions as you could possibly want. So that's quite nice, uh, you know, no real complaints there, and there is the potential for future updates to clarify how that's done. We may just be missing it because we're missing some uh, very simple feature, uh, not sure on that one. So uh, actually, let's go ahead and load up that uh, photo again, and then I'll demonstrate the other side of this application, that is the social media side. It's very efficient and very uh, cool, in our opinion. You get the three big ones right off the top. You've got uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so you can share it to any of these with a simple tap of a button. Um, since you've got, uh, you actually need iOS 5 to play around with this application, which is fine, because you have that native Twitter integration, so I can simply hit the Twitter button, and then it will share directly to uh, Twitter, at least it should, there you go, it pops right up, native Twitter integration with the latest edition of iOS, you type whatever it is that you want, and then you post it, which I'm not actually going to do, same thing for Facebook and Instagram, just ships it straight out to those applications, however, that's not also, um, that's not all that you'll be dealing with, you can also do Tumblr, Flickr, or you can simply copy the photo and paste it somewhere else, if you want even more, you've got email, you can print it, you can share it to Evernote, which is a service that we make uh, extensive use of, there's also Twitter, Vicontact, which is the only way we know how to pronounce that one, um, Tumblr, <laughs> we make fun of the app, I'm sorry, I had to. Uh, Tumblr and Flickr, so those are in there. 
etc etc and of course you can just save to the photo album if you would like to wrangle your photo in some other way so all in all we're very impressed with the number of social media options that are included and we also think it's very simple to get to them on the subject of the design the application is extremely uh it, it looks good, which is something that we don't often get to say within the genre of novelty photo applications for the iPhone. It just doesn't happen very often. Sometimes they, they suffer from just basically poor design. But iPhotoCap doesn't have that at all. It's actually extremely easy to use, and the layout is uh, very, very clear in terms of learning curve and being able to use it. As far as the value goes, iPhotoCap certainly is uh, is a value. There's no other way to put it. The application is completely free, as mentioned. So if you're looking for something like this to play around with on your iPhone, there's no better app that uh, we know of to go with. Because of that, it's completely free. There's no overhead. Go ahead and give it a go. What have you got to lose? It's got a ton of social media options. It looks great. The interface is simple. And the functionality that you need out of this, uh, in other words, adding captions to your photos, is here in spades. What does that mean for iPhoto cap at the end of the day? It means that we are going to give it a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. It comes fully recommended. And if you've been waiting for something like this, you might as well grab it because it is free. And that's all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. But we will see you guys later. Bye.